Hi everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, Dragonfly Bees Resell Journey, welcome here. In this video, this is a continuation of the unboxing of the third box that I got from ThreadUp DIY five pound jewelry rescue box. This is part two. So we're gonna start off where we left off and we have some long necklaces here. This here is a gold tone necklace. Nice chain holding this. Really nice. I think that's a faux druzy in a bronze tone. There's the back side. There are some marks. And let's take a look at how it's finished. There is a lobster claw with a very long extender accent it with a bead on the end there's a jewelry tag so let's see what does that say pomina oh okay pomina pomina is a um it's a wholesale it's a wholesale distributor of uh costume jewelry uh here in new york city um i think uh they date back to 1985 and it's run by someone, uh, Charles, <clears throat> and uh, they manufacture fashion jewelry and accessories, uh, Charles and his family, in New York City, right here. In 91, he established his own company, which is called B-O-B-K, and um, that's a wholesale shop as well in Midtown, New York, right near, um, where is it near? It's near the New York Public Library and the Empire State Building. Yeah, near Fifth Avenue. So we have this. And I should measure this for you. So here is the tape measure. 15 inches all the way to the pendant. This is a 30-inch necklace. And you do have a nice sizable extender. So we have this pendant necklace by uh, Pomina. Next up, we have this very long necklace. It is made up of these beautiful uh, clear, no, they're pinkish in tone, glass faceted beads. And uh, they're all connected with this like curved textured bar. The odd thing about this necklace is it's on an elastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's really long. I'm going to double it and measure it that way. So give you a, an approximate length to it. So when it's doubled, it's about 10 and a half inches in drop. So I'm going to say 21 inches in total drop, making this a 42 inch necklace. Great condition, no closure, but hey, it stretches. So you can actually wear this as a necklace or even wrap it around your wrist as a bracelet. So we have this one. This next necklace has a gold chain that is um, 16 inches in drop, making it a 32 inch chain. Finished off with a lobster claw. It's holding this guy. It's an owl. It's got enamel eyes. But there's a little mark right there on that enamel um, portion. Uh, it says quartz. It's not working at the moment. Let's still get him on the back. That's weird. The back of his head is hollow. Uh, it says stainless steel uh, back. Back? So, I don't know if it works or not. It's got nice textured feathers he's cute so we have him uh owl clock <laughs> watch pendant necklace this next necklace also has a 16 inch drop making it a 32 inch necklace it is um finished off with the lobster claw clasp an extender has a bead on the end and it's holding um these chevron shaped bars and every other bar 
um, is filled with rhinestones. There's the back of it. I don't see any name, but this is sweet. A nice, very long, I guess you could double it, right? Long necklace with this chevron articulating pendant. This next one has four strands, I believe, five. One, two, three, five strands. It is in this really dark, very dark, like an antique brass tone. I mean, look how brown that is. I think this needs a good bath. Uh, it is made up of purple, clear purple tone beads that are a mix of acrylic and glass. There's clear ones on the bottom. This is not really tiered. It's it's pretty much the same length. And this has a 17 inch drop, making this a 30, hmm, 34 inch necklace. And here, let me show you the beads close up. And you see the chain? See what I mean by, it's really dark. But the beads are really pretty. Very pretty. So yeah, so far this um, thread up box has been pretty nice. Um, third one from Arizona too. So was it Arizona? Phoenix, yeah, Arizona. What did I do? Oh my goodness. Okay, where's the, uh oh, uh -oh. here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, get there. Oh my. Okay, you get the idea. Oh, what I do. We have this one. Next up is this. You remember seeing this when I first opened the box? If you watched the previous video, uh, this is by this company. I am not going to pronounce it because I don't speak French, nor will I even attempt. But this is um, Crystal. And it's one is a square shape, the other one is round, and it's from their uh, La Diamantine collection. It's gold plated, it is, it is adjustable too, and it's called the U and I ring. Now, before I even show that to you, they have a really great story that I want to share with you. Um, I always love to research new brands that I'm not familiar with and share that information to my viewers. So this brand, which I'm not going to say, was created in Nice, France in uh, 1980 by this couple and their names are Pascali and Enzo Amadeo. And they offer unique and high-end costume jewelry. Pascali, who is the woman, um, comes from an artistic background. I mean, her grandfather was close, was a close friend to the famous painter Rene Magritte. And um, this name translates into goddesses of the Greek mythology, um, daughters of the god Nereus, Nereus, which is a um, old man of the sea so this actually means uh sea nymphs yeah so back to uh, the story pascali and enzo they met at the academy of the arts in belgium in the 70s and it was love at first sight um fast forward on they have four children now who are now part of the company um in fact, today, it's second generation took over. Their son, Paolo, is head of the artistic direction. Their daughter, uh, Bianca, is in charge of a uh, visual identity. And their niece, uh, Ant Antonella, I think is her name. She runs um, the branches that they have in Paris, Nice, London, Milan, Naples, Brussels, and even Tokyo. Uh, they even have another brand called N2, 
and as a Nancy. Uh, that's their fun brand, which they um, established in 2004. And that was such a national hit. It made um, the best fashion galleries in the world. It was, it was uh, presented there. Um, and their brand is sold worldwide. We're talking Australia, China, South America, Middle East, and of course here in the U.S., as well as boutiques all over France and Europe. One really nice thing that I read about this company is that in 2015, uh, Pascali and Enzo, they created a foundation called um, Foundation Loves Animals. So each season, 15% of sales from two specific collections, I mean, they have many, many collections, uh, is donated to shelters and uh, associations that are selected based on what they do for the animal cause. And they love animals so much that their employees can bring their dogs to work. And they even provide yoga and exercise classes. I mean, it is really a very diverse um, company uh, filled with animals. Now their designs are known for uh, floral designs, animal designs, insects, even ballerinas. And um, yeah, I was really uh, happy to learn about this. They do have a website and um, it is, there's one website if you type in this name.com, that's the French website, but they do have a US one, uh, which is also this word, I, I think uh, US, but if you Google it, you'll get to see how big and diverse this company is uh, with regards to their collections and all the press that they have and whatnot. So this is a special, special ring that even came with the little pouch, little satin pouch with the floral interior, and this is the ring. That is pretty amazing. The underside is open and there's, okay, let me get the, let me get the magnifier. It is marked on the inside. Um, ooh, careful there, Sue. Um, oh gosh, that is hard to see, but it does say their name. I think that was upside down. <sighs> Let me try this again. What does that say in there? You know what? I will look at it close and I will put it on the screen. But this ring is beautiful. And um, I've uh, when I went to the website, I didn't see this particular one with the square and the circle. Um, well, no, that's more like a, yeah, it is a circle. Um, I saw one that had hearts, a heart and a circle or a heart and square. I don't know, it was either one or the other. But I know this is the U and I ring. And when I place it on the mandrel, I mean, it is, I guess, adjustable. I'm gonna use this one so I can see. This one falls down to a seven. My size. Wow. So mind you, these are gold plated, but they are crystal and they are pretty amazing. So we have this one. So next up is this group of jewelry and it is by Isharia. <laughs> uh, if you had seen the previous unboxings from ThreadUp uh, also from Phoenix, Arizona, I came across some jewelry from this brand. Uh, they were those single earrings as well as a ring. Well, this box has uh, some more jewelry from this brand. 
And this brand I talked about, um, it was launched in 2004 by two sister-in-laws and their names are Rahita and Gauri. Uh, they saw a void in the market for high quality Indian inspired jewelry. So they created this company and the name is actually a combination of their children's names, uh, Ishan, Arman and Arya. So their jewelry is hyperallergenic. It's all nickel free. And um, you can also go to their website, which is this name.com and see all the types of jewelry they have to offer. Now I did go there and did a search on these types of jewelry, but uh, I guess these that I have received have all been discontinued. Now this card actually came with this pack. So let's go over what we have in here. Um, these are beautiful earrings. And the way they packed it was they placed it in the bubble wrap, but they uh, connected it from the outside. So these are beautiful post earrings with this nice size pearl and they are faux. And the fun thing about these earrings is you can actually take that off if you don't want to wear it with the pearl. And there is the signature upside down. These are beautiful. I think um, after reading about their jewelry, they do uh, incorporate the architecture that's from their country, and I think it's called Mughal. So that could be part of uh, the architectural design that they have in the buildings. So yeah, this pin can go right back. You have these big posts, original, and these look spanking new. So here's the other one. Let me place, oops, let me place that back on. So yeah, you can wear it with. <clears throat> oh, look at that. You can wear it different ways with that V shape facing up or down. Okay, so we have this pair. Uh, let me place it this way. So they match. You have this very sweet pair by um, by Ishara. Ishara. <laughs> oh, okay. So next up is this bracelet. This is um silver tone bracelet with these rectangular crystals and faux pearls. This looks to be spanking new. And it also has a jewelry tag with that brand. Now, let me, there's a lobster claw. Let me uh, connect this to, well, this um, chain can be placed on any of the loops. Give me a second. I'm going to place it on the last loop, like so. And then let's get the mandrel and place it on here to see what size it is. Yeah, in the previous box, I did get some earrings and a ring. And uh, I'll bring them out to show you. This one here, at its linked on to the very last loop falls at six and three quarters. So this is a quite a small bracelet, but of course you can even make it smaller. So maybe this is for a child. We have this one. This next necklace that I found, there is the jewelry tag. is um gold tone with these 
open. Let's see. One, two, three, four, eight sides. So that's an octagon. This one has, this looks like a hexagon. Well, there are different geometric shapes. And then you have these faceted stones. This one here has a drop of 18 inches approximately. But the, the thing that puzzles me is what kind of stone is that? I looked at their site and they have a similar piece of jewelry with this type of stone and they called it pink jade. But when I take out my presidium and test it, that does go to jade. And then I look at this one and I test that. And that one goes to quartz amethyst citrine. So, huh, is it a pink quartz? And then when I test this one, this one also goes to quartz amethyst and citrine. Interesting, but at least we know that yes, it is a semi-precious precious stone. Now, here, let me place that aside. Take a look at them. These are, let's see, hexagon in shape. And if you recall, the earrings that I got in the previous box, they match. Now, mind you, I only got the single earring from one of the boxes, and let's test this one. This one comes up as quartz amethyst citrine, the same as the, the two stones on the bottom half of the necklace. So we have this, we have this uh, <clears throat> open hoop earring, and then looking at this box, found the other one yes so I have a pair so this is a set of this necklace which is about what did I say 18 36 inches long and the matching open hoop earrings woohoo now, if you recall, this was the earring that was in the first box. And um, I said I was keeping it because it's just so pretty. I was hoping and hoping for the match. Voila. And it is by Isharya. So, isn't that great? We have a matching pair of these. 18 karat gold plated. I believe that's lucite. It's a beautiful green. Look at that. It's translucent too. Um, color, post earrings, open hoops. And don't forget, the jewelry is all hyperallergenic and nickel free. And I was just blown away when I saw the matching pair to this earring and the matching pair to this earring. So we have this and the design here, if you look at it closely, um, yeah, this could be part of that architecture that I talked about that they incorporated in their jewelry. So we have this and we're visiting the ring that we found in one of the previous boxes by this company as well. The green onyx carved green onyx ring with the pearls and the enamel okay next up craft yeah these are going to be craft items um i found this bag in the bag and uh, they look like screws spiky ones so i don't know uh if any of you jewelry makers out there can use these but this will be a craft item and then you have um, 
these are new. This is like a silver tone necklace with the moon. And the, this is a bracelet with the stars. This one here is a Harry Potter. Um, Warner Brothers Entertainment. Uh, Mr. Harry Potter, the cupboard and under the stairs. Could use a good, a better chain, but yeah. Harry Potter fans. I have no idea what this is. It's a, a little pendant with stars and something else on the other side. This one here is uh, a medallion. Wood, perhaps. This piece, I don't know if, what you can incorporate that in. Coconut shell. This is a pair of earrings. A lead, nickel, cadmium compliant. Brandy Melville. Uh, let's see. Here in the States, it's $4. Yeah. So these are open gold tone stars. And then this one is by uh, American Outfitters, I believe. A-E-O. It's a pendant. A leaf with rhinestones. And an acrylic bead. Cute. So we have that. So yeah, um, not... Not a lot of craft, uh, a lot of single earrings that I just threw into the single earring lot that I have. And, um, oh yeah, this was on card too. These are studs of silver tone beads and clear rhinestones and faux pearls. So yeah, this will be um, placed in the earring lot as well. So what else? Moving on. So these are the last pieces in the box. Yeah. So let's um, let's start off with the one in the center. Kind of gives me like a like one of those squash blossom necklace vibes, but of course it's not. <laughs> um, a nice red orange acrylic bead on a gold tone setting. It's finished off with the lobster claw clasp. There is an extender. And um, let's let's measure this. It's about a seven and a half inch drop. And you do have a, a sizable extender to lengthen it. Let's take a look at it close up. I like it. Very nice. It looks to be in great condition. Let's look at the back. No maker's mark, but the back is completely open. And uh, yeah, really nice glossy, like an orangey red acrylic bead. So we have that one. Yeah. Then uh, moving on to the next. Let's go to the one on the right. This one here. I found one earring that matches multicolored rhinestones. You have the dangling silver tone and brass beads on the bottom. This is a post earring. But you never know if I could come across it in another box. This is finished off like so has like a brass tone chain and it's holding this all these panels have multicolored beads I mean rhinestones and um, I, uh, I I would say they're acrylic and they are all they're all there these panels uh, alternate in tone so you have that very dark antique silver tone, then you have brass, silver, brass, and so forth and so on. But the fun part is all these dangling uh, beads on, underneath, which of course matches 
the earring. Wow, the earring is exactly the same size as the panel. Then you have these um, like spikes on top. Really uh, a nice necklace. And there's the back, it's very crude. But um, it is what it is. So let's place this down. There's no extender on this. So let's see how long it is. Measuring it this way, it's about nine inches. So 18 inch necklace figure and one earring. This next one, a uh, gold tone necklace, seven and a half inch drop. There is this extender, which is quite long. Uh, you have a uh, black and blue enameling. It kind of gives me like a South, um, maybe an Aztec feel or a Southwestern feel. Um, it is open work around the enamel. They look like pennants. Here you see it, very sweet. And then here's the back side, and it's in great condition. So we have we have this necklace. The next one, um, really pretty, gives me an Art Deco vibe. These are faceted glass beads, and they're one size on top in black, and then they get larger. And then the two last ones on either side, well, no. What's going on here? Let's bring this close. Okay, the two here are like a smoky gray. Then you have a rondelle filled with rhinestones. Then you have a black one underneath. And holding it is, um, it's holding this. Really sweet uh, medallion with rhinestones and uh, marquee shaped ones. This is the back side, so this makes me think that it could be a 1928. Um, the, these beads remind me of a necklace that my mom uh, used to have. So you have a nice long extender, and the closure is a hook. So, let's see what the drop is on this. This one here has a drop of about 7 inches, and then... You do have that extender. So, we got this one, which I find really, really very pretty. Um, so this basically wraps up box number three. <laughs> Thread up DIY jewelry rescue box. Box number three wraps up part two of this unboxing. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Wasn't it amazing that the matching pairs of those two earrings were found in this box? I was like, whoa! Um, yeah, I was so happy about that. And, um, if there's anything you'd like to purchase... Email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The purchasing instructions are always below in the description box. Um, they're also at the end of the video. And you have to be subscribed to my channel in order to get in on these deals. So please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe. Um, ring the bell. Choose all notifications. That way you'll be alerted. Oh, by the way, if anything sells, I will create a sold list and it will be pinned uh, in the comment section. So it will be the first comment that appears. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. I, I was pretty happy with this. Very happy, in fact. The fact that I got those matching earrings really made my day. Um, so, until next time, I will see you very soon. And thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you all so much. Bye now. Mm -hmm.